let's click OK button and check the toolpaths with default parameters. OK, here we're machining from this point on this toolpath to this point. Let's run the simulation. Right click on phase operation and from this menu select simulate option. To run simulation press this button and here you can slow down or speed up the simulation. Ok, let's close the simulation and let's edit the phase operation. Right click on phase operation and select edit. Select the passes tab and first let's check the pass direction parameter. Now we can set 0 degrees and set here for example 30 degrees. Click OK and now we can tool paths at an angle 30 degrees. Let's set this parameter again. Set here for example 45. OK. OK, we have toolpaths at an angle 45 degrees. Again, let's edit this. Type in here 90 degrees. And we have toolpath like this. OK. Let's edit again this operation. Pass a step. Set here 0 degrees and next parameter is pass extent. Now we have 0 millimeters here, so click OK to check the toolpath. From top view, our toolpath looks like this. Here we can end of the pass and this is the end of the stock. Edit this operation, pass is tab and type in here 10 millimeters OK and as you can see our toolpath is extended by 10 millimeters this parameter could be useful in many situations for example if you want to make the tower tool leave the material completely we can use this parameter to extend the toolpaths OK, right click edit, pass a step, next parameter is stock offset. Using this parameter we can enlarge our stock. Click OK to show toolpath, set the top view, in our example the first pass is in here and last pass is in here. So let's edit this operation. Pass is tab and stock offset and I type in here for example 20 millimeters. Click OK and as you can see our toolpath is enlarged in this direction by 20 millimeters and in this direction by 20 millimeters, in this direction by 20 millimeters, and in this direction by 20 millimeters. Without changing the stock, we can enlarge the area of machining. OK. Add this operation, pass a step, change this value for 5 millimeters. And next parameter is the step over. This is the distance between the passes. Set here, for example, 2 millimeters. OK. And as you can see, there is many passes. And the distance between each pass is 2 millimeter. So let's edit this and type in here, for example, 30 millimeters. OK. OK, let's edit this operation again. 
as a stab. Direction, here we can set climb, conventional or both ways, machining. Leave here both ways. And next option is from other side. Without this option, we have start in here. Let's set it this parameter. Select from other side, OK. And now we have start in here, on the other side. OK. Add this operation. And next section is multiple depths. The first parameter in this section is maximum step down. This is a quite important parameter. With it, we determine how deeply the tool will go down in one pass. If we have 2 mm of material to remove and the maximum step down is set to 1 mm, we will get two passes in Z axis. Click OK. And in Z axis, we have two passes. OK. The next parameter is both sides and it will work when there will be more than one pass in the axis. If this option is not selected, the machining will proceed in one direction. For example, from here to here. We start here and ending here and after machining on the first step value in Z axis, in our example on Z minus 1, the tool travels over the material to the opposite side and start machining at the next level in the Z axis. In our example, it will be Z minus 2. Let's run the simulation. Select the info section and run the simulation. OK, we have machining in Z minus 1. And now to retract, move to the next pass and we have machining on Z minus 2 level. OK, close the simulation and let's edit this operation and select both sides parameter. OK. OK, run the simulation. We have machining on minus 1 in the axis. And after first pass, tool starts working from here to here without movement in the air. OK, close the simulation, edit phase operation. And last parameter in this section is finishing step. After selecting this option, a finishing pass will be added to the toolpath and another two options will be activated. In finish feed rate parameter, we can set the finish feed rate value for finishing pass and finishing step down is the value for finishing pass in Z axis. Let's type here, for example, half millimeter. OK. And unselect this option. OK. As you can see, we have three passes in Z axis. Let's run the simulation.
Okay, first pass is on Z minus half millimeter. The next pass is minus one and a half millimeter in Z axis. And last pass is finishing cutting on Z minus two millimeters. Okay. The last section in this tab is stock to leaf section. And, and here we can actually stock to leaf, which is the allowance to be left after machining for the next operation. Click OK. Run the simulation. OK, we have first passed in the axis on minus 0 0.4. Next pass is on minus 1.4. And the last pass is on minus 1.9. And after this machining, we have 0 0.1 allowance for the next operation. Okay. 